Welcome back to 100 Days of Logic with 90 Second Philosophy and Carnatis.org. Today we're going to be continuing with categorical logic, looking at the traditional square of opposition. Now, if you haven't checked out my previous video on the modern square of opposition, you might want to do that now because it's going to be a very similar concept. However, modern is dealing with Boolean logic, while traditional is dealing with Aristotelian logic. Let's take a look. So, to set up our square, we're going to set up our A proposition in the top left corner, our E proposition in the top right, I in the bottom left, and O in the bottom right. We will draw our Venn diagram so we know what we're talking about here, and we have that to fall back on if we get confused. Next, we're going to put in our contradictory relationships. These are the relationships that we found in our modern square of opposition, and they're going to hold as well in the traditional square. But instead of just having everything else be undetermined, we're going to actually have some more relationships here. We see that A and E propositions are contrary. That means at least one is false. I and O propositions are subcontrary. At least one of them is true true. A and I propositions, as well as E and O propositions, have the relation of subalternation, which means that truth flows downward from the universals to the particulars, and falsehood flows upward from the particulars to the universals. This is a really useful square to help remember all of those complicated relationships that we talked about in the last couple videos, because they can be a little confusing. So come back to this video if you ever get confused. That was the traditional square of opposition. Next, we're going to be taking a look at Categorical syllogisms is going to kind of be a new chapter, a new beginning. It's going to take all of the things we've learned about categorical logic and put them into some arguments. Watch a new video every single day for 100 days here at Carnadis.org and stay skeptical, everybody.